I'm now in the pride of the paddock with Doug Martin with his dryer Ford. Good afternoon Doug and welcome to Race Retro 2019. Good afternoon, nice to be here. And this is a bit, bit of a special this car isn't it? It's a bit unusual, certainly in the UK it's unusual. They're still fairly common in the United States because these were very much the, the grassroots racing of the, the 1920s and 30s and usually on the the half mile and three quarter mile dirt ovals at all the county fairs. So this one was built, will be, we believe, by a guy called Pops Dryer, who was who was a real motor sport fanatic, a very good welder, worked for Duesenberg for a lot of his career. And in 2027 20, he started building his own cars. And this one we believe is a very early one. Constructed from a Model A Ford, uses a standard Ford front axle, back axle, gearbox, and engine. So, what are you hoping to race it in? We'll race it with the Vintage Sports Car Club, um, which has always been very good to us. It's it's the only place we can race it. So we'll race it, we'll hill climb it, and we'll sprint it, probably. So what would you race it in, what category in, in circuit racing with then? Would it be vintage or...? It would be, it would be vintage. Um, the Vintage Sports Car Club are very good in that they give us five lap handicap races that we can go in. And basically it doesn't matter how quick you are or how good a driver you are, it's all based on your lap time. So these guys work it out so we all finish at once. We all set off at different times. And really that gives everybody a, a chance. So in those we can be racing against Austin Sevens, Big Railtons, Rileys, some pretty quick stuff in there. So they're good fun. So how did he come on it? How did he come about get, get purchasing the car? Well I've, my midlife crisis I bought a 1960 Formula Junior race car and uh, much to my wife's horror. I remember it. <laughs> And I raced that for 10 years, but when I retired, I really had to have something that was a bit cheaper to run. So we sold the Junior, and I was aware of these American sprint cars. Um, and they just appealed to me, the, the nice, simple things. They all look pretty to me. Um, so I just set about finding out how to buy one. And there's a particularly good website in the States which, which virtually every race car in the States ends up being sold on Hemmings.com. Okay. So I just went on twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday morning just see what was new on the site and I ended up buying a 1937 one of these. Very similar but more sophisticated than this and I bought that five years ago. Um, which I've raced pretty successfully with a vintage sports car club. But then a friend of mine bought this from Pennsylvania. It was found in a barn in Pennsylvania. It was in a bit of a sorry state. Yeah. So he bought it, shipped it over from, from Pennsylvania. He didn't do anything with it. It didn't quite suit him what he wanted. And I met him one day and did a deal and I ended up owning it three years ago. So, and if you're going to race something or hill climb it, you really need to make sure it's right. Yeah. So I just took it completely to pieces, every nut and bolt, rebuilt it, kept everything that was original. What wasn't original, we researched and found out what it should look like and what it was made of, and we recreated it. We had to recreate a lot of the front. Yeah. The bonnet and the nose cone was, was badly damaged, okay. and it had been replaced with a a 1932 version which of course was wrong this should have had a very early one yeah. so we had to have a new one of those made but again that's that's part of the enjoyment yeah, it's taken yeah. me a couple of years yeah. done every nut and bolt one of the great things about Ford Model A's is you can buy every part for them the Americans are brilliant yeah. and of course all the hot rod people keep the speed equipment going so we can buy pistons, we can buy full race camshafts, uh, we can buy rods, crankshafts, you can buy everything for a Model A Ford. So if you want to go pre-war racing on a budget, yeah. Model A is the way to do it. So how many events have you been, have you been in so far? 
Well, with, with the 1937 car, we tend to do usually about seven a year. Right. We'll do three or four race meetings and we'll do three or four hill climbs. Hill climbs are great, great fun, yeah. nice and relaxed. Yeah, yeah. This one, we, we just finished it late last year and managed to get it to Prescott. Um, so this one, this one will be going to Shelsley and Lowton. We'll probably have a year hill climbing yeah. it. To before get you to go know, circuit. Before yeah, we yeah, go yeah. circuit yeah. racing. Yeah. Um, but it, it's just so much fun. It's, it's yeah. not easy to drive, yeah. uh, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope it goes well, and I hope you get on the circuits eventually. Yeah, cheers. Uh, and thanks very much for the interview, Doug. All right. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, cheers. That's great.